and all, welcome back to Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival with me, Eki Thump. Let's get this farm harvested and hopefully it'll get us up to level 7. Got quite a lot of plants to pick up. And they're worth a lot of XP each. Not to put ideas in the dev's head, but probably a bit too much XP. I mean, picking a tomato is worth probably about half as much as killing an enemy. But that's the way they've done it. There it is. So level 7, and what we want to do at level 7 is... Use the tech tree and start unlocking small vehicle parts. So, small vessel thruster. Alright, let's build a SV. I guess I'm going to have to do this in this mode, not in creative. Because that's how I'm going to complete the quest. Before we do that though, let's uh, do something with this food. Oh look, we've got one for free. We've got a free small vessel starter. It's a good job my inventory wasn't full. Because I might have dropped that on the floor and never noticed. Uh, let's keep going with the canned veg. Let you use tomatoes, durians, pumpkins and water. And some of that. Some canned meat as well. Let's just split it between each one. Let's look at some of the stuff they've added. So, Phoenix Ferns and Fire Moss. In the normal campaign, I think they would come from Omicron. In this playthrough, I'm not sure. I assume there's an, an Omicron-like planet somewhere else. And that's where we'll get those from. But we'll have to see. Okay, we've got 16 tomatoes left. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. And we'll see what we've got left to do after that. I'm going to finish processing all this food and then we'll go and get started on a small vehicle. We also need to unlock all the key parts for the SV. So we definitely want a fuel tank. O2 tank, definitely. Uh, cockpit, yes. Landing gear. Okay, so those are the key parts. Um, get the spotlights as well. We're not going to have to bother with passenger seats in a single player playthrough. I'm going to open those up, but I don't think I'm actually going to use them. Right. So that's all that stuff. Anything at level 7 on weapons? No, next level is 10. It's worth unlocking bombs though. Probably worth unlocking light armour as well. Uh, we need the multi-tool and the tier 2 drill so that we can start making charges. And that's it. Damn it, I should have saved some. I can't unlock the texture tool now. Ah, it's alright. We're going to get plenty of points. Uh, 
Right, what, is it, what else can we make with food? Get a Dino Stew Royal. And some Kavai Coffee. Uh, which is nice because it gives you a nice stamina boost, so you can run along drinking coffee. Um, there's no other items we can really make at the moment. So we're not going to use the pear things, let's put those back in the fridge. Can't make any more Dino Stew Royal. So I guess the rest is going to have to go on hams. This is really nice stuff. 200 food and 30 health. But it's uh, very perishable, so you have to make it and store it in the fridge and just eat it when you come back. And we can make one, two, three more coffees. Normally, I actually don't make coffee in the playthrough, but since we're growing beans anyway, might as well. I'm also, I think... going to process these jugs into some purified water. <coughs> okay, how's the food processor coming on? Nearly there. I'm in the fridge. And coffee doesn't perish. So we can just carry it with us and use it for a bit of a stamina boost. Right, that's enough of that. Let's take our SV starter block outside. Now I have a feeling I'm going to need to go and mine for some materials before I get any serious building done on this. So there we are, there's our small vehicle. Obviously there's a few bits to add. Oh shit, did we unlock the cockpit? I hope we did. Yeah, we did. Phew, alright. So, minimum requirements. Minimum requirements. One cockpit, absolutely key. One RCS. Generator. Fuel tank. And... Now we need a lot of thrusters. Uh, six is minimal. Realistically you're looking at at least eight. There's two for takeoff, two forward. And then one back, one down, one left, one right. So we'll get eight. And in fact, we're almost out of iron. So let's go and get some more iron. Might use at least one of my T2 charges here just to get these bits off the ceiling. Uh, 182 ore. Will that be enough for what we want? I don't know. Probably. If not, we can always come back and get some more. 
Whew. Blimey. What a sunrise. Here we are back. I would imagine the build jobs didn't finish because we didn't have enough iron in the constructor. See. Oh, they almost did. Just needed one more of these. So these are the basic devices for a functioning SV. Cockpit to fly, RCS to be able to turn, generator and fuel tank to carry the fuel, and uh, thrusters to provide thrust. We're also going to need a bunch of steel blocks. Let's go for a hundred to provide the, the frame of it. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try a couple of wings this time as well. I'm gonna see how those work out. I've never used them before. They're not new in this patch, but I just never saw the point of them. But let's drop a couple on this time. Why not? So that's all of that. Uh, what else? We'll definitely want some. Well, the only guns we can have at the moment are Gatling guns, so let's get... I would say four of these, because they're not that powerful. Uh, and doing that, we're also going to want... Oh, we're going to want, anyway, an ammo box and a cargo box. Let's leave that doing that. So, um, I guess in or just in order to make sure we don't make this quest freak out in any way, we're going to try and complete them in the order that they're shown on the right. So this, first of all, we want to add cockpit, RCS, generator and fuel tank. So let's start off with the generator. There we are. The generator goes there and then we'll have a cockpit. We can choose from quite a variety of them. These open ones are... These open ones are basically for um, larger SVs or capital... Um, well, larger SVs, basically. Um, so instead of putting down like a closed cockpit with a window, you put down a, an open cockpit and just build a room around it. But I think if you put these down, then you have to start thinking about like ventilation inside and stuff like that. So we're going to go with the closed one anyway. Guess that one will do. Uh, fuel tank. And an RCS unit. Now it wants us to add the thrusters, which we can do. I've got a very vague sort of plan here, but nothing, nothing too serious. We want, oh yes, and we're going to want O2 tank, of course.
let us bring this side up a bit. Put the side thrusters there. So that's front and side. We're going to want two down thrusters. There and there, I suppose. So we've got front side down, three left, one to go on top, one to go behind. We need to get the rest of the bits in first before we do that. How are we getting on here? Okay, let's wait for the O2 tank now. Okay, oxygen tank. Now it wants us to add weapons and an ammo box. So it's a good job we did have some weapons unlocked we could use. Ammo box and... Gatling guns. Let's have them um, arranged like that. They're behaving slightly strangely. I'm trying to place them down. Uh, add docking pads and landing gears. Well, those I want to... I want to hang off the wings if I can. Oh, wrong constructor. Home constructor access. Two T1 landing gears. Landing gears. Right. <coughs> So the idea will be to 6 by 5 by 1. Is there anything a bit smaller? It's a bit grandiose for what I was trying to do. Actually, maybe not. They look, they look big just because I'm putting them down all at once, but... I do this. Oh, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? Now, the big question where are the two high ones? These ones. And ducking pads or landing gears. And last but not least, place additional blocks. Well, we will be placing additional blocks. Uh, we have at least a cargo bay that needs to go in. I hope this will help you to progress faster and help us. Find and capture the alien invader ship. Oh god. Capture the alien invader ship without destroying it and use it to warp to May orbit. I hope I haven't just enabled planet vessels. I don't feel very uh, very comfortable in taking one of those on. Okay, 
We're feeling very hungry anyway. Let's go to the... We don't need to go to the fridge. Bring the fridge to us. Uh, we can eat some ham and chips. For starters and some cheese. And let's finish off with uh, some oranges and pear things. And some aqua berries. And some more pear things. Okay, that close enough. Okay, let's try and get this thing finished off then. Well, here she is, our first SV. Uh, it's actually looking rather good compared to the crap I normally produce. It's got some nice flowing lines. I'm sure they're not actually aerodynamic in the slightest. But what matters in this game is weight and thrust pretty much exclusively. And we've got an RCS in there. There's a bit of spare space inside, so if we don't like the way it flies, we could put another RCS in. It shouldn't be that heavy. I mean, it's pretty minimalistic. Well then, uh, let's get some fuel. And some Gatling ammunition, which I forgot to make. Oh, and another thing as well. Before we go anywhere. There's one more thing to put... Huh? Is that my quest reward? Spee. Hang on, is it knobbly bit at the back or knobbly bit at the front? No, knobbly bit at the front. Ah, and is it right next to the thruster or one back? Right next to the thruster. Okay, cargo. We've got some large packs we can throw in. They'll give it a lot of flight time. Oh, we've got, you know, I, was, I say we've got a railgun there. There's no point attaching it because I can't make railgun ammo at the moment. Steel blocks, come back in. There's a gap there. What should be on my oh, there it is. pistol? Steel blocks. Health kit. Okay. So we should have plenty of fuel to go in there. We just need... Fifteen mil ammo for the Gatling gun. Well, there we go. So... One more minor job to do before we take it for a test flight. We're going to paint it. We're going to paint it in stealth colours. Get all that on there and around here. And this should, yeah, change all at once. Oh no, we can't do that bit. I'm going to have to take the landing gears off and put them back on again. I always forget that. It's quite difficult to paint around... ...like, big devices. Now, in order to... ...paint the underside, uh, we're going to have to... ...chuck in some fuel.
That should be off the ground enough. Oh, hang on a minute. Ah, I need an extra steel block. Got one missing. There we are. Perfect stealth. If the aliens are using night vision, they'll never see us coming. Let's auto group everything as usual and. all this in the ammo box. Okay, let's give it a quick flight test. Let's take it over to the uh, the trade station. See if we can do anything with these money cards and if not we can always bank them. It doesn't feel super agile, I have to say. It might need another RCS. Speed's alright though. At least it can take off. What about mid-air stopping? It's got a bit of inertia to it. It's serviceable, I think. At least it looks good, and that's the main thing. Right, let's bank these cards and see if there's anything we can do with them. Where was there an ATM? There was one around here somewhere, wasn't there? Ah, here. Yeah. Right. Let's check with the main guy downstairs. What we're really looking for, most of all, is that medium armour. I'm not sure if I can afford that. No, not quite. That's 75,000. What can we do with 3,000? Not much. Well, never mind. Uh, we've got our ship. That's the main thing. So I'm going to have to find out where this alien invader thing is. I've been all over Elia, so I presume it's in space. Now, how are we supposed to capture this ship? I'm honestly not sure. Oh, I can't remember which, tele which lift it was to get out now. But Anyway, we'll leave it there for this episode. That's a nice bit of progress. Got ourselves a ship built. Uh, next session, I guess, we'll be going into orbit to have a look for this alien invader craft. See if we can take it on. Almost certainly not. But you never know. So, join me for that. <clears throat> and I've been Eki Thump. This has been Let's Play... Empyreon Galactic Survival, and I'll see you next time.